Hi everyone! We're going to show you how to set up your domain email account on your Android phone. In this video, I'm going to set up the Gmail app on my Android device, and the great thing is that you can add different emails from different providers to it, allowing you to use the Gmail app to check all of your emails. If you want to set up your domain email account on another email app on your phone, you're free to do so, and the process will be similar to the steps in this video. We've made a video showing you how to create your own domain email account with Website.com, so make sure you've already made your email account before you try to set up your email account on your Android. So our Android phone already came with the Gmail app installed, but be sure to go to the Play Store and download it if you don't already have it. So now we're going to open the Gmail app. And previously, I've already added a Gmail account to my Gmail app, and I can see that right here. To add my domain email account, we're going to click the hamburger menu and go to the settings in the Gmail app. Keep in mind that if this is the first time opening the Gmail app, you may actually see some introductory messages, and you may see an option to add an account without having to go to the Gmail settings. Now I'm going to click add account, but you may also see an option to add another email address. So I'll click right here, and out of these options, I'll choose other. Now add the domain email address that you've already created. And now it's very important that you choose manual setup instead of next. And this is very important for the setup process. So I'll choose manual setup. And we're gonna choose IMAP because it stores emails on a server and syncs them across multiple devices. So this means you'll be able to access your email from anywhere on any device using IMAP. And now we'll enter the password for your domain email account. Click Next. So to find out what to enter into the server field for the incoming server settings, you'll need to log into your domain email. So I have Website.com open in a browser on my desktop computer, and I'm going to click Webmail, and then I'll log into that email. Once you've logged in, we're going to look at the URL at the top. And we'll grab that part of the URL before the forward slash. So for my account, I see mail1.sitemailserver.com. But for your account, you may see something different. So now that we see that, we're going to go back to the Android device. So your username is your email address, and your password is the password for that email. And if your phone auto-populates the server field, you'll need to remove it. And in this field, we'll enter that part of the URL that we grabbed earlier. Once that's done, click Next. And now we'll use the same information for your outgoing server. So we'll put that in the SMTP server field. Click Next again. We'll keep these default settings and then click Next. You can choose a display name, which is how your name will appear as the sender for emails. So as you can see, the email account has been added. So now we'll click out of the settings. And now we'll switch to the account that we've just added to our app. In the top right, just choose the avatar. And we'll choose this new account. If you want to compose an email, just click this right here. And you can switch between senders by choosing this drop-down under From. So that's it for this video! Don't forget to subscribe to Website.com to find more tutorials for your website and business. Thanks for watching!